I'm right now dressed up as Ladybug in honor of my Zag store Lady Noir art figurine coming in. I thought that I would do a really quick unboxing video as well as show you guys my first impressions as well as how to actually construct the statue um, from some of the pictures and from what others have what uh, what I've seen from others. Um, apparently you might have to construct Cat Noir's hands in some way so I just wanted to show you guys how to do that in case you guys end up purchasing the product yourself or are just curious at how the statue actually works. So Zagstar sent out my shipping information about two weeks ago and it took maybe around a week and a half for it to go from Santa Monica, California all the way to Honolulu, Hawaii where I live. And on the box it does come with a please handle with care glass sticker so hopefully when I do open it um, nothing comes in broken. <laughs> So just the heads up, the Lady Noir art figurine statue is pretty fragile in general. Um, I've already seen pictures where their statue arrived broken or while they're trying to construct the statue, some of the pieces broke off. So just something to keep in mind if you're pretty hesitant in purchasing the product itself. Um, I'm praying <laughs> that with my ladybug look, um, my statue will be in one piece as well as stay in one piece while I construct it for you guys. So let's just start opening the unboxing right now. First impressions guys, this is fucking beautiful. <laughs> guys, oh my god. First impression, the box is beautiful. in a package like this. Um, hopefully it's still nothing broken within it. Um, it does come with instructions um, on how to construct the art figurine statue. So So here's what it looks like once you open it up. You have little Cat Noir right there, and then right next to him is Ladybug, and right below him is the Parisian rooftop. From what I can tell, the packaging is pretty well done. Good job, Zag.
which is basically just the rooftop of Paris. Um, it has a cute little miraculous on the side, um, as well as the Zag Hero logo on the side. So we have this. I guess I just construct figurine from this box. I'm gonna move directions just because I think my, <laughs> my miraculous posters are kind of distracting. places just so that you guys can see the Lady Noir art figurine statue a bit better with more of a white background and not just my miraculous posters. So basically I'm just gonna follow the instructions um, that they've given and see if I, I'll be able to construct it. Step one is to remove the art figures, any parts and base from the packaging, and place the base on a solid flat surface. So base, just put it on that luxury box. is align the peg on the one part which is a lady hook from a lady and with a mounting hole on the second part so the second part is a chimney the two parts which is a little kitty cat and put the mounting hole on the sixth part and then gently press down until they fit together. So the sixth part seems to be this gutter. You can try to be really gentle with this. Alright so right off the bat I'm trying to put Cat Noir's foot within the little pegs on this little pipe thing and it doesn't fit nope <laughs> so that is definitely a problem um i do not want to force the pegs down because i do not want anything to break so my little poor kitty cat cannot fit on the roof with his lady But the good thing is that the Zag Star actually came with instructions of what happens or of what to do when the pegs don't align um, with the mounting holes right out of the box. So the instructions say that you should one, fill a large bowl or cup with warm or hot tap water, um, two, immediately place the art figurine in the water and the pegs must be underneath the water. Number three, let the figures sit in water for one to three minutes. This will make the resin pliable to align to the pegs. Number four is remove the figure from the water and guide pegs on the feet onto the mounting holes in the chimney. And then it says, note, these steps will not damage your statue material or paint anyway. So let's try it. This kitty is going for a swim. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry guys. Alright, so I'm just going to be doing this in my sink right now. It's running hot water. I'm not going to dunk um, Cat Noir all the way in the water just because I only need the pegs to, I guess, be pliable around. So I'm just going to stick his little feet in. So I'm taking a little, little bath right now. Um, this is kind of inconvenient, honestly, when you're wanna when you're trying to construct your figurine, but it's alright. He is getting a nice, lovely, warm foot bath, something that he probably deserves and needs in order to see Paris with his lady. Um, I will check back with you in about one, two, three minutes. Alright, Cat Noir is back, and let's see if that helps. Second try. All right. With a bit of force, it came right in. So the instructions 
pretty accurate. So just in case um, this happens to you, just dunk the part in hot water just like as just as instructions say and it should cook right in. So now it's time to put on Cat Noir's arms as well as Cat Noir's tail. So referring to instructions again, um, put the five, put the boy's left hand first, then his right hand, and let the girl's hand between the boys. The instructions don't make sense, but it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, let's just see. Okay, I apologize if the video turns out shaky. I am doing this with one hand. <laughs> So it says put the left hand first. So I believe it's this one. It's gonna slip on the feet. I guess it kind of just slips on. Like, like that, I guess. Hmm. Seems really fragile. I don't, I don't know if I did that right. Let's put that from this angle. just believe I put it on right. <laughs> and this is Cat Noir's right hand. Um, it does include the ring on his right hand, just the way. So they did fix that issue. And I guess it's like that. So it kind of looks like he's holding a hand. Okay. Nice and nice soon. And as our final piece that we have to put on, we have to put on Cat Noir's little tail. And it does come with a little green uh, paw on his staff, which I think is really adorable. And I love how his tail curves. So let's just put it on. Oh, there's a little section on Cat Noir's, above Cat Noir's little butt, that I'm just gonna stick his um, stuff in. So this is, so the staff and the tail to Cat Noir's booty is magnetic, so, which is what I really like. I think the hands are supposed to be magnetic, but I, I can kind of feel the magnetic on his right hand, but not his left, so I don't know why that is, but alright. And so basically I'm just going to try and maneuver it so the tail itself does wrap around his lady and just adjust. Alright, so the tail is wrapped. It wasn't as easy as I hoped it would be. I would actually recommend soaking the tail itself in the hot water as well, just so it'll stay better. I think I'm going to be doing that after, but honestly, here is the final statue. Absolutely adore it. It's really cute. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, so this was my unboxing of the Lady Noir art figurine statue. Overall impressions, I really like it. Um, it's a very good addition to my Miraculous Ladybug collection and I'm just really excited that it came in one piece and that it looks really pretty. Um, yeah. If you guys have any if you guys have any questions about the figurine just leave me a comment down below and hopefully i'll be able to answer it or just send me a dm um, i'm very willing to talk about my experience pur purchasing this um as for an an in-depth review of the statue i'll have that video up hopefully later in the week um yeah first impressions pretty good loved it it's really pretty so hopefully you guys have a beautiful and amazing day